more furlough days. For every support staff position that you plan on cutting, cut here first. You're carrying the weight of a lot of people in this district, so you got a lot of people that don't like you. This is a project we're doing in conjunction with NASA, JPL. You can only put in numbers. And is each one of you doing something different or are you working on this together? The partners work together. Are you guys going to college next year? Yes, sir. Where are you going? Uh, for the summer time, I'm going to PCC. PCC. And then I'm going to go to Mount Sac for the fall. To work? Mount Sac Community College. And how about you? I'm the UCSB in the fall. Everything else. Good. Congratulations. How do you think you can get more girls in the program? Right now, um, as of March 16th, we had 15% girls, so we were already double the numbers from the last year. And how do you think in the future, the function of the library might change if kids are reading electronic books? Personally, I don't see a big shift happening with electronic books. I don't know, I think they're going to disappear. I went to Northern Arizona University um, Flagstaff. in Flagstaff. I moved around some too. I went to graduate school at Clemson in South Carolina. I was a Fulbright Scholar. Um, I lived in Cyprus and I was a foreign exchange student when I was in high school. I went to La Paz, Bolivia. That's where I learned how to speak Spanish. You'll see a lot of conflict tonight and public employees have to take a lot from the public. Yeah. We're required to. You have to take it with a smile. How can the district have high expectations for all while asking teachers to do more with less? They frequently say things that are simply untrue, but we're not allowed to respond. By law, we don't respond. We recently learned that you thought it appropriate to give your chief financial officer a 2% raise. I really hope that's rumor, and I, I do ask you to confirm that. Responding to them and telling them that they're wrong is considered limiting their, uh, their First Amendment right to free speech. The children don't have any more instructional days to give you while you make these unwise choices. I've developed a very thick skin over the years. It's hard to round me up. When I was a principal, the teachers called me the silent volcano. They said, beautiful to behold, but we're afraid of what might happen if it erupts. Thank you very much, ladies. Two very impressive presentations. We want you to know that we're very proud of your successes, and we hope that you serve as an inspiration to your peers uh, around the district to achieve everything that they possibly can. Ashley, congratulations. Thank you, Maya. Excellent job. Mm -hmm.